Hey, what's up fellow tech heads? Welcome back to motherboards.org. I'm your host today. I'm your host every day, but today I'm your host too, strangely enough. Check it out. You guys all seen our videos that we guys brought you last week of the new GTX 680. Unless you were living in a cave, you guys know that that card has launched. Now today, we'll be bringing you the video of these cards running in SLI mode. So this is two GTX 680 cards running in SLI. So let's jump right in. Real quick though, before we jump in and show you guys the performance of these cards in SLI, let's take a quick look at our test bench. We're using two cards, one from Zotac, and one is the default reference card that we got from NVIDIA, and you can see we're using a triple SLI bridge. Now, you could use the little round one that they have that's made of little flexible stuff, but I prefer using this hard-based one. It actually has three connections. You could use it in triple. I'm using it in dual. I'm also running the 3820 Intel CPU, standard 3.6 gigahertz, and quad-channel memory from the folks over at Kingston. It's XMP profile, one running at 1600 megahertz. So that's about it, folks. Let's jump in and actually see these cards in performance in SLI. So you guys have seen the performance. You guys know this card, when it's kicking ass, it's seriously kicking ass in SLI mode. Now, I've heard a lot of people out there and a bunch of naysayers saying, ah, it sucks, it's this, it's that. Obviously, the drivers aren't totally at the perfected level yet because this card's brand new. It's the first time NVIDIA's had their 28 nanometer card out at all, and you know drivers are only going to get better. But at this point right now, Things are still looking really good. I think for using two reference-based cards, these cards are really shining. And as new drivers come out and improve, performance is only going to get better. Now, as far as cost goes, we know these things are a bit pricey. <laughs> well, they are. It's $1,000 for a set of them. Most people don't have that much money. But if you're an enthusiast and you want really kick-ass performance, getting these things might be worth eating top ramen for a month, right? Might be or eat the dollar menu or no cheese, you know, some serious cutbacks. But at the end of the day, if you want high-end performance and you're an NVIDIA fan, two of the new GTX 680 cards in SLI seriously kicks ass on video games. And it also works really great for rendering stuff. Usually, I don't do this stuff in videos, but this last time they did the launch, I started doing a bunch of the converting of the videos and changing them from one format to another. Usually, the camera and the guys do this, but I've been taking the Fraps videos and converting them myself, and this thing actually goes really fast. And a lot of the stuff I've been converting, it's actually going faster than my Mac Pro. So at the end of the day, two SLI cards, kick ass, $1,000 a bit pricey, but if you want the best, you're going to pay for the best. I'm Eric Ferris here on motherboards.org. We'll see you guys next week for more SLI goodness.